Hello everyone and welcome to the Mortal Grenadiers YouTube channel. So today we're playing a, a new mod that came out yesterday for Mountain Blade Warband single player mod. Um, it's really cool, set in the in a fantasy uh, dark gothic uh, setting and it uses as base um, Hispania 12.0.0 and I already played it, I made a few saves and I just checked how the mod was. Uh, I, I guess it's a, it's a beta, so it's just um, start of the development, but it was worked on for, for years and the developers uh, did a very very cool and um, impressive job, they added many stuff I really like. Um, here you can play as a vampire, so I'm just gonna show you. Um, so this one is really hard, I, I suggest not to play it because, uh, especially they, they wrote uh, hard mode because I tried it and you you are basically a vampire who is an uh, outcast and you just spawn with very very bad uh, armor, like a, a robe and no troops, you're alone against pretty much everyone because the vampires will kill you too. Uh, so let's just do uh, this one. Like you can play as as a mage here, and you have this bonus. Some other uh, bloodlines don't have. So um. So let's call ourselves. <laughs> it's always hard to choose a, a vampire name, so let's we'll just choose a Witcher free one. Uh, <coughs> so um, the vampires are not a new faction. Sorry, a new race. Uh, they are a new faction, but not a new race, and so you must choose. Uh, you must crawl the faces you got, and you can have you can find four different vampire faces, which are these ones. And instead of famous, I have like two, and they added very very cool new facial hair, really really cool ones. Um, yeah, also new hairs. Right, so let's go to our vampire um, lens. So, as you can see, in this uh, start, we have eight men you can command. I have this rope and the vampire drain, which is like something you can can throw is like give damage so I, you must forgive me but my mouse is completely not broken but sometimes just doesn't lock down so I'm just going around and I'm gonna show you the factions and as you can see they have Added really cool armor, so you can find it in marketplaces. Um, and it also have some clothing from the 18th century, which is really cool, in my opinion. So this is the map. It's, it's very big and and we're gonna I'm gonna show you the factions, the troop trees. So this is like a kind of. Uh, inquisitor um, religious faction like a religion order uh, which is very cool uh, this model freelance so you can enlist as a, as a soldier and they have also these special weapons some troops have, have these special weapons you can throw um, then they have different set of armors you can find. Yes, some uh, troops have a lot of variety. These ones are like a uh, knight faction. They have very very good armor. Most troops have, 
except for the you know the the recruits or, or those people. So these ones are actually very good and they are usually at war with the above faction and the, they have very very good um, armor breaker weapons as you can see they have uh, these pole arms which are very deadly against armor so they are pretty dangerous for you know and this looks one this looks like uh, I guess some kind of Spanish conquistador faction they have these morions and um, kind of uh, half plate armor really really cool and then we have this one I have an idea which this one are based upon but they look pretty cool the beast slayer I actually do weapons cost so few money that's, that's good because in some mods the price is just foolish then we have the vampire houses with many skeletons and ghoul and and vampires so I think there's also yeah there's uh, mage there's like uh, mages and some uh, light uh, magic in this mod then these ones which are very very cool cool looking the union of Abnoff this kind of cool musket here and then the Republic of Bruvik which in my opinion since I'm Italian they look like uh, the Republic of Venice because Venice had this red color which was very distinctive they have this kind of heavy shield with this barbutelm so they look very very similar to the Republic of Venice so they might be um, a reference to them not sure but they seem like it then we have the mercenaries which are also uh, new because you can see they have new armors and very cool uh, roster as well and the outlaws which we're gonna kill in when I will start a, a series on this mod I will probably do it after this video I'm gonna do two videos uh, this one really look cool I want to, to get this mask they are like the cultists and then we have the others which are I guess some kind of um, troops you can hire somewhere or you can find around the map and I saw there are also free custom quests in this mod not sure exactly wh where to find them but if I find them I will sh for sure include them in the video and yeah I will also put the link of this mod in the description please download it because it's really really cool um, so this was just a, a video for Sorry guys, but I cannot zoom and, and I have no idea why my mouse is doing like this. Pretty annoying, I know. Uh, yeah, doesn't really zoom down. Because they have also settlements, new uh, icons. It's really cool. So, uh, for this video is everything. I will make another one and I will probably play as... Uh, the Archduchy here of Weldrick or the Vampires but I most probably this Archduchy because I played as the Vampires a lot not in this mode obviously but on the Wars World Conquest and I want to make a, a kind of change I know if it's a different mod but I really don't like Vampires to be honest um, like I don't like dead and so on I like to kill them you know I like to confirm that they're dead and so we're gonna play as these ones uh, they look very cool faction they have also the the faction leaders yeah this guy have like this um, sh like a civilian outfit because I went uh, to his castle so it doesn't have the armor you have like the the feast robes all others have the, their armor they go on out with ca in campaign you know and yeah I think they're also Venice because as you can see they have Italian names, Alessandro Augusto is an Italian name and they have also these very Italian names so I guess they are based on Venice and these ones are very cool this one has very cool armor and uh, County Anelia and I think my 
my audio corrupted or something because I hear it weird. So it will be. Uh, I will have to restart the game. So this is the Holy Order faction leader, and then we have the faction want to play this guy. So guys, thanks for watching and take care. See you soon. Bye.